This one's going to be on a book. It's a uh, text user interface uh, address book program. Um, really easy to use. Only a few hotkeys that you really need to know. Anyways, let's do a uh, full screen here. But all you got to do is type in a book. And I have some entry already for our example. Um, if you want to learn the hotkeys, well, they give you some of by default top here, right? Keys to quit. What is that? The question mark for help. Add and then remove. Now, if you want to get more hotkeys, you hit the question mark. So a shift and a question mark. And they have some hotkeys here, right? Like going up and down, uh, either with the arrow keys or JK or whatever. Delete or duplicate. And if you hit like uh, any hotkey, it'll go on to the next one. It'll show you more hotkeys and so on and so forth. Uh, but after that, just go out here. Now, if you want to add something, you hit A. And uh, at the bottom here, once you hit A, you have your name down here. So you just type in the name of the person. So for example, we'll type in Elias here. And in here, they have um, different tabs, I guess. So you have the contact and then address and then phone and others, custom. So to navigate between them, you hit, uh, what was it, your arrow keys, right? So right arrow, left, go back to the contact and all that. Uh, if you want to add like or, or edit um, the fields in here, so right now you have your name already, but if you want to edit uh, the email address, all you got to do is hit 2, and at the bottom here it shows up uh, your email address, then you just type it in like, you know, or something like that, right? Um, and then you go to the next field, or the next tab I mean, then you type in your address, so is it 1... And we'll put uh, right and city was it three? What city they're in? Mexico City, I think. Um, four state. Oh yeah, then Mexico. Five. I don't know. Country, I think it's the same. Right? There you go. Phone, you can do phone. So, for example, I'm gonna do. What is that? Something like that. And then when you're done, you just hit Q, like they said, quit editor tab here. So hit Q. Right. So you have your entry here. Uh, I have three here. Now, if you wanna search between them. You can always hit the uh, slash, right? You hit the slash, kind of like uh, in the man page and, and Vim and all that. So you can search for, let's say, G-O, and it'll go down through that field. And if you want to edit it again, you just hit enter, and you can go in there and edit, and hit Q again to quit out of that. That's pretty much it for the program. Now, they do have, like, some export options. So let's go back to the hotkeys here. Um... I mean, you can import too, but I don't have a database to import, but exporting, um, you know, you hit E, right? And if you want to export it to, let's say, <clears throat> well, it depends on what you want to do and, and what programs you want to import it to or whatever. But uh, let's say we do plain text here, right? And we just hit K, and it'll tell us uh, what's the file name that you want to uh, save it to. So we'll, we'll call this uh, my address here dot txt and that's pretty much it now um, where the hell did I saved it to there you go my address dot txt here right so you can cat it out and, and check it if you want and uh, that's about it for the program you can look at it and check it if you want anyways pretty cool program if you need a address book on your computer and very light. It's just called um, what is it called? It's just called ebook in your repository. All right, that's about it. Um, that's it for this one.